there has been a lot of confusion about the two types of rigid polystyrene foam plastic insulation, extruded or XPS and expanded or EPS used in the low temperature pipe insulation market. Although both types are comprised of polystyrene, there are important differences that should be understood by the specifier. With the XPS continuous extrusion process, a homogeneous closed cell matrix is produced through the entire cross section of the foam. This matrix of closed cells resists water penetration, which is known to reduce R value if absorbed into the insulation. With the EPS cell structure, the bead molding process leaves voids between beads where water can enter. Although the individual beads of EPS are closed cell, the voids between the beads can absorb significant amounts of water, which reduces the already lower in-service R value of EPS compared to XPS. It is important to understand the fundamental differences between the properties of XPS and EPS. While ASTM tests are typically used to measure and quantify the differences, here is a visual representation showing how common 1 to 1 1.5 pound EPS absorbs water compared to XPS. What you can see clearly from the video is the difference between expanded polystyrene and extruded polystyrene. The expanded polystyrene allows the ink to flow freely out through the gaps between the beads, while the extruded polystyrene doesn't allow the ink to flow at all. In fact, the only place for it to come out is back up the needle. In higher density EPS products, the fusion of the individual beads is better than lower density EPS products, but the problem still exists as shown with this visual demonstration utilizing pipe insulation made from a Fomilar XPS fabrication billet versus two pound EPS pipe insulation. In an installation like this, it's critical to have moisture resistant materials. You're exposed to the wind, the rain, the snow. You've got constant moisture drive because the system operates well below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Although there is a vapor barrier and jacketing that protects the insulation, over time it deteriorates. And when it deteriorates, the insulation is exposed to those elements. Expanded polystyrene will collect that moisture between the beads. It'll turn to ice and it'll reduce the R value. Extruded polystyrene doesn't collect the moisture, resists the moisture, and in fact will maintain its R value. Whether a large or small scale application, you have a choice for your XPS pipe insulation requirements. Owens Corning Insulation is a high performance, dust free foam product with exceptional thermal efficiency, long service life, reduced overall installation costs, manufactured in the USA. Choose pink insulation for your next XPS pipe insulation job.